so in your work, right, you're, it's, a, it's a really interesting combination of, of skills, right? Because mm. you, you obviously it's pretty hardcore technical knowledge, right? Yep. Um, but then also you're, you're out there, you're kind of on the front lines dealing with people and yeah. their, <laughs> their problems. And um, what, do you, what do you think kind of are the, the vital skills for, for a person doing what you do? Uh, to do to do the job I do, um, ah, there are a couple of different things. So, like the, uh, you need a reasonable amount of technical knowledge. You can't know everything, and indeed, knowing when you don't know something is a big part of the job. Um, you, if you're in front of a customer, you've got to be comfortable with saying. I don't know, or let me take that away and research it for you. You can't let your ego get in the way and get embarrassed. That's um, such a that's such a huge. I mean, that's just stress. like life, general life advice, but especially with technical stuff, right? You're like, <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to say something, and that might right. be wrong. You have to push that down, uh, and that's just, hard, right? That's hard to be like. Actually, I don't know. Right, you're paying for me to be here, and I do not. <laughs> I do not know the answer. But it's a good thing. I mean, the customers, what they want is the right answer. You making something up on the spot or half remembering something, that's not useful to them. You saying, "I will find out for you, and I'll get it in writing by next week." That's great. That that's what they actually want anyway. So it's it's helpful. Um, you need to like travel to do specifically the job that I do, where you're. Flying, I usually visit two studios a month. Um, could be anywhere in Europe, so uh, that's pretty cool. But yeah, you really got to like travel um, and trying weird foods and having lots of foreign coins about your person at all times. <laughs> um, you've got to like people. And more specifically, I think you've really got to like helping people. Like you've got to be motivated to help people out, to, to give them something, to encourage them. Um, and you've got to be really good at communicating, I think, to do this job well, because it's no good you understanding their problem. They need to understand their problem right. and they need to understand how to fix it. Um, technical knowledge is kind of useless if you can't pass it on. Yeah, or just showing up and fixing the problem and be like, right. it's, I click the button, it's fixed, bye, right? right? And then they can't kind of right. reproduce it later. After we visited the customers, we give them a report that says what we did, what we found, and often general advice for what to do next time and being able to teach them to fish, that's a big part of the job, making them kind of self-sufficient and leaving them with a better understanding of the problem. Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, so on that communication note, you and Siobhan Gibson, uh, who's in our documentation team, uh, delivered a, a second talk, or another talk this, this I week. I am a busy woman. <laughs> a, a, a talking machine. <laughs> So what, what was the, so the, the, the title was technical communication? Yes, technical communication for Unity developers. Although actually it's kind of for everyone, but yeah. um, we're at Unite, so. Yes, <laughs> it's definitely for Unity developers. <laughs> yeah, well, everybody here is a Unity developer, so it is. Exactly. Um, but yeah, we gave a talk on, um, partly about how we communicate technical information. So. Um, I tend to write reports for expert level Unity users now. Uh, I give talks. I used to write tutorials for beginners, usually. Um, Siobhan works on the documentation team. Uh, she's a technical writer and editor there, so she creates the, uh, the documentation that you all see, the Unity manual, the scripting API. And she acts as a consultant within the company to help other people improve their documentation. So. A big chunk of our job is communicating technical information to people. And the point of our talk was anyone can get good at that skill, um, even if you're not a great writer to start with, or maybe you've written something and you, uh, you've created something, you've made a game, um, or you've made a piece of software, and you think, how, how do I tell people how to use this, or how do I tell them how it works? So we created a simple workflow that anyone can follow to get good at this skill of like giving people technical information that they can use. That's amazing. I, I feel like, yeah, as you say, obviously here we are at Unite, right? So it's focused on Unity developers, but this is just, again, kind of like in the life skills yeah, category, right? right. Especially yeah. if you're, you know, <laughs> you do anything with technology, like I feel a lot of people 
don't realize the extent to which you could make some amazing tool, amazing game, some amazing piece of technology, but if people can't learn how to use it, it's kind of locked away. That and much more than that, one of the things we said in the talk was that technical communication skills come in handy throughout the entire life cycle of your game, like from your game design document at the start to if you're emailing an artist to tell them how your project's set up to if you need to report a bug, um, if you are supporting your game, if somebody needs some support with it later, all of this uses the same skill. It's super useful to you. That's amazing. Yeah, that's. I think that's super, super valuable for folks to know. Obviously, so first of all, I encourage everybody to check out the full talk that you gave uh, because it's dense with super, I mean, each slide, I was like, it's not funny. I, people kept like putting their phones up and taking pictures of basically every slide, so super valuable.